Com for updates on this still breaking story. Meantime, a touching tribute underway tonight for a University of South Alabama student who was found dead in his dorm room this past weekend. Friends and faculty attending a vigil to remember Christopher Thomas. He was very active in his community, both in and out of school. Fox 10 News reporter Andrew Perez is live at USA and spoke to those who knew Thomas best. Andrew, this certainly wasn't easy for them. Yeah, not at all, Bob Lanise. The one thing that I have learned about the University of South Alabama is this is a very tight-knit community. This hit a lot of people very hard. I'm going to step out of the way so you guys can see this vigil. It is still going on right now on the University of South Alabama campus. Uh, Thomas's parents are out here tonight. His friends are out here tonight. We've even had some city leaders that are out here tonight. I want you to take a look at a recent picture of the 21-year-old. Certainly a busy guy, a political science major, part of Jaguar Productions here on campus. He's in a fraternity, very active in city politics as well. He was very active in the Mobile Mayor Sandy Stimson campaign. Now, I mean, Bob Lanise, I definitely have to say this was a heartbreaking tribute. The bell tower rang every minute leading up to this memorial. You had friends that came out. They were sharing fond memories of Christopher. The main message that we heard here tonight was that he, he loved being part of this university. He loved being part of the USA community. He took pride in it. Like I said, not only did strangers come out to this vigil tonight, Christopher's family came all the way out here from Dothan. Take a listen. You know, his mom being here, I think that speaks volumes. You know, they're from Dothan, she's in Dothan. So, you know, the fact that she was able to stay and see how many people truly care about Christopher, I think, is an amazing thing. I didn't know him personally, but I have seen him around campus. And the type of leadership that he shows really inspired me to get more active on campus. Um, even though I didn't know him personally, I know that he was a great role model. He's the kind of student that we all wish we worked with. You know, he uh, lit up a room when he came in, and this isn't anything that I I'm making up. It's just I think of him and I smile, you know, and uh, that's, you know, I've been telling everybody is that's what entered the room first was this big, big smile, so genuine, um, a student that was really passionate about what he did. And, and the students that he worked with, he cared about all of his fraternity brothers. He cared about all the Jaguar Productions kids. I mean, he cared about everything that he did. Um, and he was really professional. And, you know, as a staff member, you really appreciate that. Yeah, now this is still an ongoing case. Thomas was found dead in his dorm room Saturday, but police do not suspect foul play. His fraternity brothers, they're trying to raise money right now. The student community is trying to raise money to help his family out as well. I want you guys to take a live look right now. This vigil actually technically wrapped up a little while ago. People are trickling out, but they're, they're still hanging around. And just a, a few moments ago, actually, we just got uh, details from the University of South Alabama about uh, Chris for his funeral that's coming up. It's on Saturday, March 22nd at the Northview Christian Church. That's in Dothan. We're going to have all those details, everything you need to know on our website, fox10tv.com. For now, reporting live at the USA campus, I'm Andrew Perez, Fox 10 News. It's so good to see that show of support. Thank you, Andrew. And of course, our thoughts and prayers with Christopher's family tonight.